Welcome to Shortcut Reviews, where we get right to the point. Today we're gonna to look at the Wii Gentry and the Wii Scamp. We're gonna look at them together. And so, size comparison to the knife my oldest daughter gave me for Easter. Fantastic. And another traditional that I have, a tinkerer. So, just a little bit more blade on the Scamp, a lot more blade on the Gentry. And uh, maybe a Delica might help us get some size in here. So you can see both of these have pretty good sized blades. Same as the Delica, substantially more than the Delica, um, which is nice. And next to our dollar bill, you can see that the Gentry is not small. Uh, the Scamp is a bit smaller. And thickness wise, that's a Zebra pen. Uh, so it's about two and a half times thicker than a Zebra pen. So pretty slim knives. Neither one of these have pocket clips. They are both um, slip joints and they have one position right there. And then they open up. The back spring is not overly strong uh, compared to my Swiss Army knife, substantially stronger on the Swiss Army knife, but no real definitive stop in the Swiss Army knife, just kind of rolls open. This one does stop about midway and they both have um, uh, very nice um, ricasas here. So if you have them choked up and they do happen to fold, they're gonna save you from too badly getting cut. So they do have a bit of space. You can also see here um, that there's a pretty nice sharpening notch here. So let's take a look at the Gentry. It is a black wash blade. Both of them are S35 VN, so very nice steels has almost a fuller here um, that can be used as a, as a thumb neck. There's also enough hump on the clip point here to just grab it. So it is a bit of a clip point. Long and thin, which is exactly what you'd expect with a knife with a handle this thin. No jimping on the back. Fit and finish is pretty typical Wii. Like it's, there, it's just nice. I mean, Wii does a really nice job. You can see the, there's a pin right in there. And that must be the blade stop pin that prevents the blade from hitting the inside of the liners. It is fully enclosed back as you'd expect with a spring. Uh, nice carbon fiber right there. And nice bronze screws, just nicely done. I mean, fit. you can see the fit and finish here is pretty solid. Just a little bit maybe off, but not really. You'd have to be really nitpicking on that. Complain about that. Uh, interesting, it does have a tiny lanyard hole. But this uh, is, as Patty would say, a pocket dropper and uh, runs nice in the pocket. My only complaint about this knife is this corner right here is very sharp. And so when you reach into your pocket, I actually accidentally, I, I thought it was like this. I thought the blade was actually open at one point, but it wasn't. It was just that. And so this is um, not enclosed like this design does. Uh, very Delica-esque in the way that there's a little corner right there. So that is the Gentry. Uh, nice for eating apples. Um, big long blade. Does have just a little bit of a recurve in there. Um, I use a Spyderco Sharp Maker. Wouldn't be a problem for me. If you use stones, it could be. Okay, and here's the Scamp. A little bit smaller. Titanium handle. Oh, and this is, this is bronze uh, black wash titanium with carbon fiber. This is just titanium, and it's got kind of a bronze to it. It's interesting that they put the Wii logo there and not on the pivot, where on the Scamp, they got it on the pivot. Um, I like how they bring up the swell here to actually enclose that, that point right there. So very nice in the pocket. Got a little bit of a cut through to give you a little bit of traction and opening it. It also has a sharpening choil this one does not look like it, um, like I, I'm pretty sure that's flat. It almost looks like a recurve, but it's not. Uh, pretty traditional blade shape. Again, fit and finish are really nice. They use a lanyard pin here instead of a lanyard hole. So if you wanna put a little tassel on that or whatever, uh, give it um, really just enough for my medium fat size hands. Fits pretty well, maybe a little bit cramped but you're not gonna be doing any heavy, heavy cutting with this. This is really, both these are really gents knives. And then this one is very, very neutral with plenty of grip handle remaining. So that is my quick walk around to the Gentry 
and the Scamp. Slip joints are a little bit out of my wheelhouse. I don't use them. I much prefer a locking blade if I can have one. Now I am off to Australia and New Zealand. And uh, I think as a tourist, my uh, sack is probably the one that's gonna go with me. Probably get me in no trouble if for some reason it was found. Um, anything else I'm actually a little nervous to bring. I am actually camping in New Zealand, so I could probably get away with a lock back, but there's really no reason to. Thanks again for the short look at the very nicely built gentleman folders from Wii, the Gentry and the Scamp. And this carbon fiber is beautiful and it's just typical Wii construction. It just looks, they just do such a nice job in building them. And if you're looking for a very svelte traditional knife in top notch materials, hard to beat these. Thanks again, guys, and stay sharp.